Good morning, everybody. It's my pleasure to be here in this conference, my presentation uh, about mom's outbreak among student uh, children in Hebron district in Palestine 2015. This is the map of Palestine, which shows that we have two strips, West Bank and Gaza, and uh, each, dis each strip contains West Bank uh, 11 di di districts and uh, Gaza is five uh, districts. Now we talk about the outbreak, what happened in Hebron district, and this slide shows us the incidence of mums in Palestine, West Bank and Gaza and total Palestine, so we can see the incidence of mums during this uh, slide, and we can see that number of cases is no cases until 2013. This was the outbreak, huge outbreak that happened in Gaza strips, and this is uh, uh, in 2013. This is the slide show us about the immunization program of Palestine. We talk about mumps uh, MMR vaccine, which prevent mumps uh, disease, which started in 1988 as a single dose. And the second dose of mums were introduced to our national program in 2009 with catch-up campaign to uh, catch the birth of July 2007. And we can see from this slide that the coverage is around 100% of both doses started from 2009, and it is around 100 in 2004 and 2005, and there is some shortage of vaccine during the period 2007-8, and uh, we are catch these uh, children and remain in 2009. The objective is to describe the outbreaks and to avoid further outbreaks in the future. The method is destructive study, and we have the case definition of suspect case, acute onset of swelling and tender of parotid or other salivary gland. The confirmed case is the suspect case with confirmed with IgM for, uh, or abdominal linked to a laboratory confirmed case. The collection of blood samples for IgG uh, was done from 113 school children between age 12 and 13 years to see the immunity of these children from children who are not infected with worms before. Data analysis are used by reported cases and immunization status performed for all cases using SPSS 20 version. The result, total number of mom cases found at Minister of Health Registry in 2015 was 761 cases in Hebron District Analysis of the immunization status of uh, these children relieved that about 60% affected population were vaccinated with a single dose of MMR, 12% received two doses of MMR, and 27 were unknown. The mean affected age group of this outbreak was between 10 to 14 years of age, uh, with uh, uh, which were uh, 405 cases, more than 50% of the uh, all cases, and 82 of them were vaccinated with a single dose and 16% unknown, one and 0.25 received two doses. The second affected age group was five to nine years with 176 cases, 23%, uh, 34 were vaccinated with a single dose, 35 with two doses, and 31 were unknown vaccinated status. 11% uh, of mom's cases affected age group 15 to 19 uh, years. 65 of cases were vaccinated with a single dose. 30 percent uh, unknown and 4 and 7 percent two doses. The result of IgG zero survey showed that more than about 60 uh, percent were positive for IgG and 34 uh, negative IgG and 6% uh, equivocal. The distribution of uh, MMR cases by age group, uh, age group by six, as you show in this slide, that the age group 10 to 14 is the most uh, age group that are affected. And we see that male and female also in this slide. And this is the distribution of age group by numbers of uh, MMR vaccine doses. 
and we see that the single dose is the uh, most one of the uh, most of the cases. Discussion: Only one national uh, immunization day was conducted in 2005, targeted 1981 years and 1999 years. Further investigation of the two seven, uh, two, uh, 27 percent of unknown immunization status children showed that the age group between 10 to 17 years received only one dose in routine EBI and was not targeted in any national immunization day or campaigns. And this uh, slide shows us the history of mumps, uh, uh, Palestine, and the vaccination when it start and the campaign that are done. So we can see the, the first dose that started in 1988 and the second dose started in 2009, which catch up uh, July 2007. So we can see that there is uh, uh, no second dose for whose birth uh, between, uh, uh, between 2199 and uh, 2007. Limitation of the study, some families didn't visit the clinics and there is uh, our visitors, there's some under-reporting and unavailable vaccination card for some uh, cases. Conclusion. The outbreak affected the specific age group, mainly 10 years to 17 years, those who received only one dose of MMR vaccine. One dose of MMR vaccine, no sufficient to prevent a mumps outbreak. Two doses mumps vaccine with high coverage are needed. Recommendation, catch up campaign is needed for a specific age group who are most affected and national immunization DI uh, also needed and the high vaccination coverage should be maintained for both doses and conduct uh, some serious survey for a prevalence survey for mumps in certain period of times. I want to thank my deputy minister and Dr. Abdul Latif Al-Husseini and the preventive medicine team who is working in this uh, subject. Thank you. Thank you, Dia. Thank you for your presentation, for your effort uh, to share with us uh, the experience of uh, Palestine authorities uh, with uh, uh, outbreaks, especially in the, your case, uh, mom's outbreak. Now, floor is open for discussion. Dia. Yes, another. Thank you very much for the presentation. So we've seen that you had uh, an outbreak of mumps with more than 700 cases, and you have shown us the distribution by age group. Did you compute age-specific incidence for the mumps? Specific incidence. The, the specific uh, incidence is, you know, from the slide that we have, that there's no cases during the past few years, only in 2015, we have these cases in Hebron district. But we didn't have the incidence rate for as a district, but we have it as a national level. Yes. Okay, thank you very much for your effort. It was a very nice presentation. But I'd like to be clear about something. Was this an outbreak investigation or a secondary data analysis? It is a retrospective study. Cases that are registered, we return it to back and investigate all the information about these cases. Oh, thank you. Other questions? Yes, Vladimir. Thank you. I'm Vladimir Prikaski from ECDC. Um, please, your voice, please. Okay. <laughs> Thank you very much for a nice presentation. Uh, in the um, introduction slide, you had uh, vaccine coverage about 125%. Um, it means there is some, I mean, some problems with notification. I, yes, I, I, I see it. It is yeah. in one year mm -hmm. only because we yes. have catch up campaign for who's best for July 2007, so they will appear in the year of 2000 that you okay. see the percentage is about 120. Okay, thanks so much. Thanks. 
another question? Uh, dear, is there any explanation uh, about, because uh, among unknown yes. uh, vaccinated uh, uh, persons, cases, uh, actually the number of uh, mumps is quite low. Is there any explanation about it? Among? Unvaccinated uh, status, unknown vaccinated no, status. The, the unknown vaccinated status, those are from the, our routine immunization program and from the campaign that we conduct, we note that those between 10 years to 17 years were, are not involved in any campaign, so mostly will have only one dose. When we talk about a program with coverage 100%, so you can suspect that they are have only one single dose. Thank you. Thank you. Any other question? Thank you, Dwar, for your presentation. Thank you very much. So many